How's it going everybody? Man, does it feel good to be back on the water. Uh, as I said in my last video, I had to go to a retirement seminar and <clears throat> that was a whole week long. I took my rods and reels with me, but I, I just didn't have the time to get out there on the water, which was kind of a bummer because uh, the hotel was right next to a body of water that I could have went fishing at but I just didn't have the time. Nevertheless, I'm back. Uh, what a difference two weeks makes. It was approximately like 45 degrees, the water was, whenever I left, and we had temperature probably in the 30s to, the mid 30s to about 40s. Now, <laughs> we're in the, the teens and 20s. The water has, oh gosh, there is a lot of fish right here stacked up. Uh, the water, is 38 degrees so you what that's uh, about seven degree temperature change you can tell that the fish are going to start schooling up all together now oh wow they are just stacked up i'm hoping there's going to be crappie out here because that's what i want to catch and take a few home to to cook some up <clears throat> let me go ahead and show you guys what it is that i'm seeing on the lawrence so that's what I'm looking at down there. That's a huge school of crappie. And it is just stacked with fish. Same Roadrunner. Uh, right now, during this time of year, I'd love to try out all kinds of different things. However, I've got to be realistic. Uh, if you're lucky enough to catch a fish in this type of weather, then go with what's working. Don't try to you know, be all fancy and switch up the lures and everything like that. Uh, just go with your confidence bait and you should do good. I went on ahead and pre-tied three new lures that I you know, thought of from last year that could possibly work, which is just a fluke with a jig head and then a jig and crawl, which wasn't something that I used last year, but it's something that, oh, there we go. Gosh, first fish. Yes, it's, I am guarantee it's gonna be a large mouth. Yep, look at that. First fish, baby. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, cold water bass. Had him right in the top of the mouth. It's not the crappie, but tell you what, I'll take a bass any day. There we are. Beautiful large mouth. Probably a pound and a half, two pounds. Love these guys. Love it. Get back out there. <laughs> Here we are. Nice. Oh gosh, look at that bass. That is a chunk for you. Holy smokes. Barely even had them hooked. I tell you what, these guys are opportunistic, so they're gonna probably hit anything and everything that they see this time of year. Beautiful largemouth bass. This guy is nice and fat. Look at that. Healthy bad boy. Super healthy. Get him back in the water. Come on, buddy. Go down. There he goes. The winds have really picked up. It's making it difficult to fish. Ice crystals all over my line, guys. So when I cast out, it's almost like getting an instant backlash because of those crystals. I'm gonna keep on. As long as the fish are biting, I'll keep on fishing. The Lowrance died, so I've gotta switch out the batteries. And I wasn't gonna dare try to do it out there in that wind. It is super cold. Here we go. Let's get this bad boy changed out. There we are. New battery on, close her up. I think the lake is gonna be frozen over. If you take a look at this right here, right in front of me, it's already starting to freeze. Look at that. That is just nothing but a small, thin sheet of ice. Yep, I better turn the kayak before I uh, put a hole inside my hull.
boy, oh boy. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Because once the lake freezes over, that's it. I'm pretty much done. There's not much else I can do. I'm, I don't have the freedom to, to travel down south and fish warmer waters. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure something out. As far as producing more videos, I'm not sure. I'm just going to have to get creative. There we go. It's a slab for you. Let's make sure it's 10 inches long. It's barely 10 inches. Let's let them go. I know the school of crappie is here now. I just want to catch about four, you know, decent sized ones, 12 inches or bigger, and then I'll just head home. <laughs> it's a nice big one right here. It's bass and crappie. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Cannot function out here right now. It's so cold. My fluoro is so shredded up. It's another beautiful bass. Super healthy. But that's not what I'm after. I'm after the crappie. I've got an idea. This little travel rod has got monofilament on it. My fluoro is just getting shredded to pieces because of the ice that's forming up on each of the guides and it's eventually it's gonna give way. So what I think I'm gonna do is just fish with this thing. I can easily clear all the ice off of these big guides and all I'm doing is jigging straight up and down. So let's see if this little $11 cheap piece of equipment can hang with the high dollar stuff. There we go. That's a little bit bigger right there. I will say one thing. Line definitely makes a big difference. I can barely feel the crappie bite in my lure. I know that the line has definitely got to make a big difference with the sensitivity. Yep, definitely big enough. He's going in the chest. There we go. They're getting bigger now. Definitely a keeper slab. <laughs> it's going to be some good eating tonight, that's for sure. All right, all right, all right. It's good enough. The crappie have got to be nine inches in order to keep them, and these are well over 10 inches each, so that's what I want. This is a nice one. This has got to be a bass. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy smokes. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> the $11 special Zebco childhood classic from Cabela's just freaking reeled in this Whopper bass. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this monster! This thing is huge! Oh goodness gracious, look at that! Oh, right there in the top of the mouth. Let's hurry up and weigh him. Oh my goodness gracious. I guarantee this is probably something similar to the one that 
fouled up my other, uh, the Shimano that I had on, the Stratic. It's a big fish. Great, because my line is frozen. Oh, let's get the, let's get the boga and see how heavy he is. I guarantee this is a new personal best for me out here on this lake. Oh, seven pound largemouth. Look at that, seven pounds. This is my new personal best out here. I've definitely got to get some pictures. Let's get him in the water. Let him breathe a little bit. All right. I guarantee that guy's feeding on crappie down there. All right, I'm back. So after getting several pictures, it's time for the release. This behemoth, let's make sure he's fully uh, got his breath back. I wanna make sure it doesn't go belly up. This is the biggest largemouth I have caught out here. All right, so here we go. Just let him go. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I don't catch any more fish, I honestly don't even care. Cause that one was worth it. Whoo, man. Back in the school of crappie, get two more, and that's it. Here we go, there goes one. That's a nice size one right there. Definitely a keeper. Let's hurry up and get it in the ice chest and get back out there. <laughs> Hit it while it was going down. That's it. That's a good size crappie. Oh yeah, more than, way over 10 inches. This type of fishing is just way too easy. I mean, anybody can do it. You get your kayak, go out to your lake, find the fish, and drop the line straight down. You don't gotta do anything. All you gotta do is just let it just dead stick. The lure is just gonna be down there as still as possible, and then eventually they're gonna hit it. You don't have to move it, you don't have to do anything. Don't overthink it. There we go, just like that. Oh gosh, this one's a nice one. Good little slab, 12 inches. <laughs> Too easy. This guy's small, so we'll just go ahead and put him back. Little fella, lucky day. <laughs> all right, it seems all these other guys are just little babies. So that's gonna be it. With this one, I am done. I've got plenty of crappie inside the Yeti, and this little guy, you get to go back home. Well, I wanna thank you all for watching. It's time for me to call it quits, get back in, get to the truck, load up the kayak, get back to the, uh, the house, and clean the crappie that I've got. I'm gonna make a fish soup out of them. Let's go ahead and get on our way and get back. Get these bad boys cleaned up. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot believe it. Zebco, seven pound largemouth. I mean, just let that sink right in. A kid's toy. And it is just killing it. My personal best largemouth is an eight pounder. And this thing right here, $11, everything. The, the reel, the rod, the line, $11. I cannot believe it. And my eight pounder came off of a, a setup that was close to $600. So yeah, this right here. You don't need anything fancy to get out here and catch some big fish. Just set the drag really nice and uh, loose and just let the you know the reel do its thing let the fish tire himself out and then you got it right there <laughs>